What am I doing out here? It is freezing. We're gonna get this 5K on the books. Essentially, guys, I have not raced a 5K in 10 years, maybe 11 years. This is not my distance. My distance is 50Ks. I've raced 350Ks this year. So yeah, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna hurt. I've got the Nike Vaporflies 4% fly knits on my feet, and it looks like there's about 2,000 runners here. By the way, it's the USATF, I didn't really know this uh, when I registered, it's the USATF 5K Road Championships for Colorado. So yeah, there's probably gonna be some guys that can run sub 15 minutes. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna go out, have fun. Remember, running is fun and uh, see what we can do. So let's go warm up and then uh, commence this. Uh, Oh, the pain, the hurt locker, the, the lactate threshold is what we're going to be doing today. All right, got to get that turnover going, got to get that turnover going. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Hand warmers. Man, fast guys here. All right. Okay. Who's we getting ready for the holidays? That's right. One team is gone. You got it. Four, three, two, one, go! Push it! Oh yeah! Oh, we almost got it. Recording. 
100 yards, man. These guys crank it out. Are you kidding me? That's what it's all about, man. Put one foot for the other quickly. I talked to Yeah. Here they come. Bring them on in, everybody. This is one of our pro division. These guys are on Third place. I felt something tear. That last 100 meters. Oh, so close. So close. Some runners. That, it, it goes away. Good work, man. What's your name? John. John Seth. Good to meet you. That was good. <laughs> oh, man. It all came down to the end. It was really fun. Oh, man. Yeah, you were getting a lot of that in like road races, like local road races. Yeah, just like three guys. I, I knew you guys were right right behind me. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, you had the heart to go, man. You were just like, I'm going. I know. Right? right? About mile one. <laughs> that was good. I, frankly, was better than I expected. I thought there'd be some dudes that were... I thought it'd be like top five, maybe. So I feel good. Oh, man. So I, you know my, my uh, injury right yeah. now? Yeah. I felt something in that last hundred meters. Like, because of the cold? I don't know. I think... Uh, I just was pushing so hard, I felt something. Yeah. So, yeah. But, um. You were leading the most of the race. I know. Last 100 meters. Oh. Somehow. Yeah. Hard luck. Yeah, hard. I know. Next time, right? For sure. What's, uh, what's your name? My name is Madan. Madan, he. A vlog viewer. Yeah. yeah thank Finally get to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. And you watch, uh, you ran the back country, right? Yeah. Good for you. Thank you so much. Awesome. We'll keep watching. It took and me forever to finish that, but I could. You finish. did it. Yeah, you, yeah, you it finished though. it though. Yeah. <laughs> That's what matters. For sure, yeah. Cool. Well, good to meet you. Thanks for, for sure. saying hello. And, Take care. And we'll see you at other races. For sure. All right, cool. Yeah. Bye bye. All right, bye. Good luck in your 10K. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> she should have done that in 120. We're <laughs> popular. That's how these guys watch. Did you guys do the 5K or 10K? 5K. Nice. How'd it go? It was a run. It was a run. It was a run. You got five. Very good. All right. Joe's getting it. Cool. There he is. Hi. Third place. No! Hein. Honey, that's amazing! Uh, what you eating there, Seth? Apple. Apple. He's got an apple. All right, guys, we're relaxing, and the family is sleeping, taking a nap on this cold, wet, win wintry day. It's nice to just be home after a hard race, but we're, uh, we are rejecting, we're rejecting our naps, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Um, okay, real quick. Quite a few of you are asking about my running socks, and I'm going to make a series of videos on running socks at some point. There's a huge difference in different types of running socks. A lot of people think, well, it's just a, it's just a sock. No, there's a huge market out there for different running socks. So I am, um, I'm just going to tell you one company that I love and it's these guys, these green ones here. It's called Stance. Yes, it's down in the description if you're interested in getting them from Amazon. And essentially, they're so comfortable, yet I think they wick away moisture pretty well. Anyway, I'm gonna make a video on these socks soon, but it's called Stance down below in the description. And I love them, and I love them. Okay, guys, uh, what else? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember, down here, down here. In case you did not see yesterday's vlog, essentially I got these Brooks Levitate 2s and yes, the upper is incredible, it is incredible. Hello, ugly sweater. Uh, but I am not completely um, disowning Brooks. I, th I, I haven't worn Brooks very much at all, okay? I just wanna put that out there. There are some people who watch these videos that love Brooks and if you have a moment and you're a Brooks fan, let me know why and which shoe you love to run in. And, the, you know, again, at this point, I'm not too excited about this guy through the midsole. But anyway, let me know down in the comments why you love Brooks and which brand you lean towards. So I'd be curious. I'd be curious. Okay, this this is yesterday's uh, vlog. Go check it out. Upper right-hand corner. All right. We're just relaxing and uh, staying warm. 
And yes, a little holiday cheer. Oh. Made it. We survived. We did it. A 5K. Okay, but first of all, I need to mention this. This t-shirt from the race today is the most comfortable race shirt that I have ever received. It is amazing. It's a blend. It's not just uh, all synthetic like polyester or dry fit material, and it's obviously not just cotton. It's a blend. I love it. Thank you to the race director, whoever made the decision on these t-shirts. Do it again next year. Do it again next year. Okay, tip of the day number one. Tip of the day number one. Save your bib number. I always save my bib number. Get yourself a permanent marker and write on the back of the bib number the date of the race, the location, the distance and your time. This makes, so I, you know, everyone gets a finisher medal. I got one today, but I frankly, I don't really care. For, I don't really keep them around. Like I don't even, I don't even know where mine all are right now. My kids have them, they're all over the place. But this, this is more important to me because it's more of a documentation of how I did. And yes, over time, you can go back and look at all your bib numbers and how you did. So anyway, that's my tip of the day. Number one. All right. Now remember, a couple days ago, you guys voted as to why you watch running videos on YouTube. Well, third place was race recap videos, race blogs. That's what today is. So I'm going to recap the race for you right now. This 5k that I ran and essentially the gun goes off, it's freezing, the rain is coming down just slightly. It's like, it's it's cold, it's very chilly, for, for Colorado especially. I move right into third place. Uh, at 800 meters, I'm in about second to third place. First place is probably about 10 meters ahead of me. Well, not quite 10 meters ahead of me. He's like right there. The lead bikes are, you know, just ahead of him. At the 1K mark, I felt good. And I asked myself, wait a minute, this seems a little too easy, this pace. In the vapor flies, I just said, all right, let's go. If nobody else is gonna go, I'm gonna go. So at the 1K mark, I took off. And not like, I didn't drop the hammer, but I mean, I sped up for sure. And it was slightly, slightly downhill. So I knew like, okay, now if I'm gonna go and kind of take a risk, now's a good time to do it, to use the downhill to my advantage. Well, I move into first place and essentially, I think second and third place ended up being about, probably about 10 to 15 meters behind me, maybe 20 at the most at one point. So from the 1K mark to the 5K mark, I was in first place today. So I let, I held the lead for, you know, a majority of the race. Uh, with a, At about the two mile mark, you saw me draw, drop the GoPro. Yeah, yeah. Apologize about that. Sorry, I dropped you guys. Sorry about that. I historically have always known that I struggle in the final sprint I've always struggled in high school and college. Like I just don't have that top line, crazy sprinting speed, especially at the end of a race when you're tired. Like I, I always struggle a little bit. So my strategy is always to begin my kick to the finish a little bit early, a little bit early. So I get past the two mile mark, two and a half miles, approaching the three mile mark. So we got like a hundred meters to go. And essentially something happened. Uh, and I'm not, remember Remember, one of my favorite uh, words on this vlog is, sh I'm not, sugarcoat. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything for you guys. I planted my left foot, which has the plantar fasciitis, and something happened uh, in my arch. I feel okay now. I may have strained, pulled. I don't think I tore anything. But it was very, very serious. Keep in mind, I'm still in first place with like 100 meters to go. Plant, like I was, I was, we turned a corner and I planted and pushed and I felt it. Some, sometimes in the running world, it's called like plantar fasciitis release. So it's kind of that release of the tension, maybe. I don't know exactly what happened and I won't really know until tomorrow morning when I wake up to see how it feels. I did a cool down so I could still like jog after the race, but it was really serious. I went from like five minute pace to probably six minute pace, that last hundred meters. So I got past the last hundred meters by two guys. Like I basically couldn't push forward. And even as I do that motion standing here right now, I can feel a little twinge. So that's the situation and I'm gonna leave it at that. And the keyword of the day is 5K, of course. And the question of the day, what was the last 5K that you raced? Okay, think back pause a minute because I had I had to really think for me it was I think 2008 
2008, so we're talking 10 years ago, was my last 5K. That's crazy, and I'm, I'm a little shocked that it's been 10 years, but it's good. I also, this is another tip of the day, if you're a marathon runner or an ultra runner, I think mentally it's really nice to just come back in distance. So instead of always going after half in full marathons, every now and then, every now and then, do like a 5K or a 10K or even a one miler, just like something that's still fun and you're competing, but it's not as uh, hard on your body and it's over like that. Like this today's race was, you know, 16 minutes essentially. Like that's crazy, that's crazy. And so mentally it was just, it was like a, it was like going to an amusement park as compared to, um, well, I don't know what the comparison is. And so that's my second tip of the day. Okay, so thank you for answering the question of the day, your last 5K race. Think about it. And how did it go? How did, you, how did it go for you? Last but not least, the Vaporfly update. How is it holding up after I just checked Strava? And by the way, let's connect down below on Strava. I just checked and this shoe now has 37 miles in it. So not too many miles, but the upper, great. Midsole, I would even put in the great category, a little bit of compression through the midsole foam. But then my main, you know, I guess observation and not even a concern really, but through the midfoot um, on the outsole, on the bottom of the shoe, it's definitely breaking down a little bit. Uh, so anyway, just something to keep in mind. I'd be curious if any other people have the Vaporfly, what's happening on your outsole. So overall, it performed splendidly splendidly i felt great in it today uh other than when i pushed off like oh yeah yeah really no complaints no complaints at this point and very 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 good mwah, mwah. with that said thanks for being here thanks for watching the race and the race blog and the race analysis and hopefully you learned something today and or gleaned a little motivation for your next race maybe it's a turkey trot i don't know keep me posted keep me posted and a shout out to everyone that came up and uh, said hello after the race i appreciate it just look for that green hat look for that green hat all right don't be afraid to say hello that's it folks seek beauty work hard Love each other. Oh, crazy. And I'll keep it posted on my on my uh, my foot, my PF. It's interesting. Interesting. You guys are picking up on that word from me. You know, whenever I say interesting, it's in uh, a little bit of uh, uncertainty area right now. All right. Kind of like this guy.